Do it yourself. How to make a cutout font in Illustrator tutorial. You can create stunning cutout fonts in Illustrator that will elevate your designs in just a few simple steps. Erase this rectangular piece from place to place with the help of the eraser tool. And get 26 pieces. We took this shape in the shape tool. And now it has turned into many pieces. Now we will write all the alphabets from A to Z. Right now we are using a simple font. For this project, each letter from A to Z will be crafted using a different font, creating a unique and visually striking alphabet. It's essential to approach this task with patience and care, dedicating time to explore and select the best fonts. The right font choices will not only enhance the beauty of each letter but also bring cohesion and elegance to the entire design. By thoughtfully considering the style and personality of each font, we can create an alphabet that is both diverse and harmonious, ensuring that the final design stands out as a true work of art. I've spent a considerable amount of time carefully selecting the perfect fonts for each letter of the alphabet, and the process has been both fun and rewarding. Now, with all the fonts in place, I have a beautiful design in front of me, showcasing the uniqueness of each letter. In my video, I'll be demonstrating how to create a stunning cutout font, adding an extra layer of creativity to this already captivating project. Make sure to check it out, this is something truly special. Now that we have our carefully selected fonts in place, the next step is to create outlines for all these alphabets. By adding outlines, we can enhance the visual impact of each letter and make the design more defined. After outlining, we'll bring even more life to the project by coloring each letter in different shades. The variety of colors will add vibrancy and depth, making the entire alphabet look incredibly beautiful. You have the freedom to choose any shades you like, whether it's a harmonious palette or a bold mix, each combination will contribute to the overall aesthetic, creating a stunning and colorful final design. Next, we'll open the boxes we've already created by navigating to the layer panel. Once the boxes are open, we'll change their color, possibly opting for a sleek black to complement the design. Afterward, we'll carefully adjust each alphabet, working on them one piece at a time. Our boxes are intentionally not aligned, instead, they are crooked and positioned at various angles, adding a dynamic and creative touch to the design. We'll be placing our alphabets on these angled boxes, allowing the letters to interact with the unique shapes beneath them. This approach adds an element of playfulness and originality to the design, making each letter stand out while contributing to the overall artistic composition. By embracing these irregular angles, we create a design that's visually engaging and full of character. This meticulous process ensures that every element of the design is perfectly aligned and balanced, allowing the colors and fonts to truly shine. By taking the time to focus on each piece individually, we can create a cohesive and visually stunning final design. In this tutorial, I've used the entire alphabet from A to Z, but you can easily apply this technique to words as well. Simply take a sentence, break it down into individual words, and arrange them creatively. This approach works beautifully for posters, t-shirts, and other design projects, giving you the flexibility to create personalized and impactful visuals. Now, we'll focus on coloring the pieces that were previously black. It's important to choose these new colors very carefully, as each piece holds an alphabet, and the color of the piece must be distinct from the color of the letter it supports. This careful selection will ensure that the alphabets remain clear and vibrant against their backgrounds, maintaining the overall harmony and visual appeal of the design. By thoughtfully balancing these color choices, we can enhance the contrast and make each letter pop, resulting in a truly striking final piece. What we're about to do will require some time and attention, so it's important to proceed calmly. We will begin by creating a duplicate copy of each alphabet. Then, we'll thoughtfully select a new color for each duplicate, ensuring it complements the design. After choosing the colors, we'll go to the Offset Path option, increase the size of the duplicate, and expand it to create a bold outline effect. We'll repeat this process for each alphabet, carefully adjusting and refining as we go. Let's take our time and see how beautifully this transforms our design. 
In this tutorial, titled Cutout Fonts in Illustrator, I demonstrate the process of creatively arranging different alphabets on square pieces, beautifully filling them with vibrant colors. I also guide you through duplicating these elements and adding drop shadows to enhance their depth and visual appeal. These techniques are not only straightforward to execute in Illustrator but also incredibly effective in creating eye-catching designs. Whether you're looking to add a unique touch to your typography or simply want to explore new design possibilities, this tutorial showcases both the beauty and the ease of working with cutout fonts. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced designer, this tutorial will equip you with the skills to enhance your typography projects. In this video, you'll learn How to choose the right font for cutout designs Techniques for manipulating text and shapes Tips for achieving clean edges and seamless cuts How to use layers effectively in Illustrator Ways to customize and add unique effects to your cutout font By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to create eye. Catching cutout fonts that can elevate your designs, whether for posters, invitations, or digital artwork. Now, we'll group each alphabet with its duplicate copy and the corresponding piece beneath it. This grouping will help keep the design elements organized and aligned, ensuring that each letter, along with its outline duplicate and background piece, moves as a cohesive unit. By grouping them together, we maintain the integrity of the design, making it easier to manage and adjust as needed. This step will bring all the elements together, creating a unified and polished final composition. Next, we'll use the selection tool to grab all the pieces, ensuring every element is selected. Once everything is selected, we'll apply a drop shadow effect to the entire design. This effect will add depth and dimension, making the alphabets and their backgrounds stand out even more. The drop shadow will create a subtle, yet impactful, contrast that enhances the overall visual appeal, giving the design a professional and polished look. Now, we'll carefully move all the pieces closer to each other, aligning them so that the alphabets from A to Z are grouped together in a cohesive arrangement. By positioning them on top of each other, we create a unified and visually striking design. This careful placement brings all the elements together, showcasing the entire alphabet in a beautiful, organized layout. The end result is a stunning composition that highlights the creativity and thoughtfulness put into every detail. I truly appreciate your interest in my work. If you enjoyed what you've seen, I invite you to watch the videos I've uploaded on my channel. Your feedback means a lot to me, so please feel free to leave a comment. Thank you for your support.